Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video of the channel. Um, I've been wanting to make this video all week because it is something that is so cool to me. Um, I got to see Messi for the first time in my life. And I know that initially some of you are going to click on the video and be like, why is he talking about the time he went to go see Messi? To a lot of people, Lionel Messi is the greatest footballer of all time. Um, I would actually say the majority. Now, obviously, people watching this channel, this is not a video that we're going to be sitting down and discussing why Messi is the best player of all time, why he isn't. At the end of the day, everyone can agree that he is one of the greatest players of all time and that, you know, his influence to the game is unbelievable. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that on Tuesday, in the Copa America, on the group stage, I got to go watch Messi. And I'm very lucky I went to go to this game because, to be honest, you guys click on my videos. And, uh, bro, Messi, those tickets are not cheap. Oh, my God, that was expensive to go see. But I said to myself, I have to watch Messi play. There's no way I'm going to not watch Messi play. And I know Messi's playing the MLS now. But I said, I don't feel like it's real. I get to see that real Messi experience unless he's in that Argentina shirt. You know, for me, I feel like with Messi and his career, it's super extra special seeing him play for Barcelona and especially Argentina. So I told myself if there's ever an opportunity that I could do so, I would do it. And I did it. It was a 9 p.m. kickoff in New Jersey. First of all, I just want to talk through my experience with you guys before, you know, we even discuss what the game was like. Now, they were playing against Chile in the group stage. Chile, if you guys don't know any history about Chile, I believe in 2015 and 2016, they won back-to-back -back Copa Americas. And they won both times in penalties, I believe, against uh, Argentina and it was 0-0 in both games crazy like the prime Atletico um, they just man they're not an easy team to play against it was actually so cool to see Chile play up front too just because this even right now is supposed to be not one of Chile's strongest teams ever they're down in the FIFA rankings at 40 what do those even matter but Chile man even watching them they they the way they play as a unit are beyond impressive and the way they try to quickly counter it was so incredible getting to watch the game. But I'm talking mainly about Messi today and just my experience of it. So, you know, for me, you know, it, it was just crazy to get to the stadium around 7. And just the actual Messi impact of it took until 8.30 to even get into the stadium with the amount of people, uh, the amount of, you know, just population going on at the stadium. It was so crazy when I got there. I was like, I don't even know. I've been to a lot of different places in the U.S. Um, Stadium-wise, you know, massive games. I've been to Super Bowls. Um, I've been to crazy concerts. I went to, like, the peak of, like, Jay-Z and Kanye when they did Watch the Throne, and those concert concerts were crazy. You know, I I've been to, like, I've even, when I was younger, been to, like, a prime Justin Bieber concert. Um, I've been to, like, the big house for a college football Ohio State Michigan game. I mean, I mean, some of these things I've mentioned aren't even close. You laugh and you're like, it's Lionel Messi. But just for perspective of me and my life, what I have been to and what I have seen, I've seen LeBron play. I've seen Steph Curry play. I've seen Kevin Durant play. I have been to crazy NBA games. You name it, whatever sport in America. And look, you can't compare the beautiful game of football to the American sport, right? It's just not the same. The passion, especially country like this. I I instantly, when I got there, I knew what type of night I was going to be in for. I, I, like, I knew it was going to be special to watch Messi, and I guess I didn't realize it when I got there that, like, oh, my God, this place was mobbed, mobbed. And I think the capacity for the stadium, I don't know. I think it's, like, around 80,000. So there was 81,000 people there overall. That's the amount of people that were at the, at the game. The amount of people that were on the outskirts of the stadium I, it was unbelievable. The amount of people that were not even had tickets to the game were literally just thousands of people on the edges of the stadium waiting to see Messi, hopefully after the game. They were going to try to see Messi. You know, the night before they're at his hotel, I've never really experienced like seeing a player, a goat like this, like a real goat. You know, like instantly I was thinking like, man, was this what it was like when like Michael Jackson was in his prime? Like, is it this level? Anyways. Game starting about nine. When they start doing this national anthem, like the stadium is going crazy when Messi's going. I can't even hear anybody next to me. I'm like, you guys gotta understand. You know, I've been to New York Giants games, uh, basketball games. You know, American sports, like the way we do it. it yes, yes, there are teams like exceptions that have passion. There's certain teams in certain leagues and, and sports that have a lot of passion. The fans go crazy. But even then, it's, this is nothing like I've ever experienced. I can't even hear anything. People are standing up every second. And then once the game starts, oh my goodness, man, Messi could have had the ball on the own 30. The amount of times 
People just standing up the whole time. Every time this guy is even having a whiff of the ball, about to touch the ball, they're standing up and screaming, oh my God, Messi. Anytime he makes a pass, anytime a player is right next to him, I mean, the whole, the whole freaking place is screaming at the ref for a foul. I, I'm like, I can't even, the aura, the, the like, what I was able to see, it, like the experience that I had, I'm so happy that I paid and went for the game to see it because I'm like, I really want to see this guy you know, and Messi's at the point in his career where obviously he won the World Cup in Qatar. He's getting older. He's getting older. He's in the MLS now, so his level is going to drop a little bit. He's always going to be a GOAT. But I wanted to see him before, you know, it's not one of those situations where he's 40 and kind of chilling out. And and I just felt like if I could go see him in the Argentina shirt. And just to, just to see even Argentina Chile, like just, it doesn't matter about the game specifically. But just to see the passion that these two countries had to play for the badge man the culture that these two countries have even at the game i mean seeing like the away fan sections and stuff you guys got to understand like i've never really been to a real football match like this you know this was like my first opportunity i've seen some of the friendlies you know i, I like i've seen when these clubs come over in the summer but you guys know it's not it's not real you know like it, it like it's them to make money for the club they're rotating players the fans aren't as passionate. I mean, this was country versus country for a major trophy. Just to be able to see it, unbelievable. I mean, I got goosebumps when I got into the stadium before anything. Ten minutes before, I had goosebumps. Like, everybody in the stadium was just singing either the Chile or the Argentina anthem. I just got goosebumps. Then I see Messi coming out. I'm like, I straight up am about to literally start tearing up. Like, the emotion that you feel getting to watch what's going on. I have never experienced anything like it in my life. I'm telling you right now in terms of sporting events and what I have been to, going to see Messi and going to see this type of game was incredible. And this wasn't any game as well, because obviously, as I mentioned previously, Chile um, previously won twice against them in the Copa America final. So this is, uh, they're a huge rivalry. I mean, to be able to just see, and the brilliance of Messi. Can we just get into like, getting to see Messi live? Okay, so this game for Messi wasn't an all-time game. I don't know what he finished with match rating. I've started to really hate match ratings because I don't think they really describe the players well and what they did. But Messi had like an injury in the game. He didn't have anything crazy for a game overall. Even on like the Messi non-crazy games, I have never even seen anyone close to this guy's acceleration. There was one play in the game, and Chile is a they're they're a low block counter team, where Messi gets on the ball and they're parking it. Argentina's probably around at the 50, so half pitch, right? Messi receives the ball, he cooks the first guy with his touch. He does like a double stutter step touch to pass two more players, and then he just gets killed. But <laughs> The speed this guy has, I can't even believe that he's 36. I think he's turning, I think he just turned 37. I think he might be 37 now. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's like starting to make me wonder like what this guy was really like, you know, and obviously we've seen it on TV, but it's a whole other thing to see it on TV, to watch highlights and see it live. The visual of seeing it. I was always really tough on Messi overall in his career. I personally have like, you know, and this might take all your love and legitimacy away from me. I thought Diego Maradona was the GOAT. I know that he's not the most accomplished. He doesn't have the World Cups, like the, the crazy amount that Pele has, or maybe whatever the, the goals Ronaldo has, or, you know, the crazy seasons and Ballon d'Or's Messi had. I just always thought from watching him that this guy was the most impressive player I've seen. Like, I'm like, what is this guy even? And I always held Messi to that. Wow, Messi is on that tier for me, but Messi's going to have to get the World Cup because that for me was what was so impressive with Maradona, the way he led his team in the World Cup. And I thought Messi did so well in Qatar. So that's when I told my chat, I'm like, look, this guy has to be now. That's what I was missing for him. I'm going to give it to him. Um, like, just he's going to have the 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 status for me. But, I mean, what what an experience. And, you know, Argentina ends up winning this game. But just to see the way that the whole stadium respects Messi. Like, like every single person is witnessing the greatness of it. And they know it. Not only that, his teammates, I mean, I know we joke about like seeing DePaul and stuff on TV and all these players like complaining to the ref. These other teams really try to kill him. Like watching Chile, they were, oh my God, they were trying to foul him at every second. They have clear, like when you're there watching it, clear tactics you can see. Because when you're watching on TV, you see the camera angle and everything and they follow the ball. When you're in the stadium, you can really see what these other teams are plotting. Bro, they try to let him have nothing. That is the game plan. They just completely try to take him out of the game and say, hey, if Argentina's going to beat us, it's not going to be by Messi. To see the way that Messi's teammates, like, idolize him, protect him, 
it's incredible. They must have the ultimate respect for this guy, and obviously they do because he, you know, he collectively with the team got them a World Cup in the previous one. But I, I got to say, when I was walking in there, I mean, you would have thought this guy is the most popular politician of all time. It was truly re remarkable to see. I mean, obviously, I know Messi, and I know how popular him and Ronaldo are, but just, just to see it up front and be like, damn, get the chills, like, that doesn't happen very often. And you feel like you're a part of something special. Special, And to think Messi does this to stadiums, like, every night and has been doing this for 20 years, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I mean, just the actual chaos and the the insaneness of what was going on i mean the, the place in new jersey was a zoo to see this guy it's like it's like it's like he's a god it's he's literally a god to these people it's crazy and he's a god to me too when i go i'm like oh my god crazy so i just want to share you with you guys my experience i think i think in the background of this video we put um some of the the photos and stuff i didn't take too many because honestly i was trying not to be on my phone because i wanted to watch the game and i wanted to watch messi this pure speed the vision what he understands He's a whole step ahead. I mean, you're even watching him and he's seeing passes that you never see. Like, even as a spectator and a viewer. And we, we as spectators and viewers are very critical on players for not making the right decisions. And this pass was wide open. This guy sees everything and more. Like, he knows exactly what's going on. And, and I think a final thought, just to talk about Messi, for me, okay, it was incredible to see that people look at him as a god. You feel it. Just to watch the game, he is so smart and efficient with the way he plays football. What I mean by that is that I thought most of the game he was walking. And it's like, I'm just watching Messi because I'm like, I want to see exactly what he does in the game. He's walking around, he's walking around. And the second he starts breaking that walk into a jog, you know, it's like, it's like there's like some multi-level math equation in his brain that has been solved. And he realizes he needs to be exactly in that spot to either receive the ball, you know, do a dummy or distract the opponent and and get the uh center back or center mid whatever out of position for his teammate i was studying him the whole game and it's almost like every time he actually wasn't walking it was directly for the correct purpose and worked and argentina went on to go and win this game it was just overall an incredible match and i'd say the the last part even though i already said there's last part there's too much to talk about this guy the respect that even the chilean players had for him you know again this is a huge rivalry these guys, every time they fouled him, every time anything of like that, none of them were assholes to them, to him. None of them were assholes to try to hurt him. They just tried to foul him. And after that, they always made sure he was okay. After the game, they had nothing but respect for him. I mean, that's like, like for, for these guys in Argentina, I mean, this is, this is a, a huge game. Chile, they hate Chile. So I, that for me was telling of all of it, that they have that respect even deep down. And who, how could you not? But Man, it was just a night of greatness, and I feel so lucky that I was able to go watch Messi. I know that some people might be feeling like this video is a little crazy, but I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys, like, what it was like to really see him. I, I'm sure some of you guys watching this video have seen Messi play, but what what a joy to watch him. That It was probably the most impressive overall experience I have ever been to in terms of, like, hype, um, bone-chilling viewing experience. Getting to watch someone with that presence, so respected, so talented, so incredible, and the aura, you know, let's not even get started. Like, this is in New Jersey, and, and, and he's got thousands of people waiting for him after the game. The stadium is packed. It takes you two or three hours to get in and get out, but it's worth it because it's messy. I'm an impatient dude. I was like, this is worth it. I'll stress through this to watch this guy, and it was worth it. It's like, imagine if he's going in Argentina and what it's like. He's a god. He's like literally the president of this country. It's crazy. Anyways, I just want to talk to you guys through my experience with him and, and kind of watching him. What a night. I'll, I'll literally never forget it. If you guys ever seen Messi, let me know if you guys seen something like it. It was, it was crazy.